Hey guys, how are you? I'm Sasha Semin, your handstand guru. Let's learn flyaway. Flyaway of the high bar. For a giant, arch at 4.30. For a flyaway, arch a little bit earlier. Tap around 9, maybe 9.30. Let go gently, flyaway happens by itself. Issue with flyaway is fear factor. We think that the scariest part is to land on our head. Result, gymnast pull, bringing them dangerously close to bar. People do hit their feet or legs on a bar. To avoid doing it is to understand that flyaway is a swing, a regular swing with letting go at the right time. I will show only a couple basic drills, but those are extremely, extremely helpful. Swing to flat back. You do not even need a high bar. As long as the gymnast student can swing at the bottom with his knees bent, that works. Sometimes it's even better because straightening up their legs, pointing them, their toes in a direction of future flyaway gives them a good sense of timing. I am not bringing my feet to the height I did for a swing right before I want to land flat. An excellent drill. Do not skip on this drill. It does help sometimes to spot your student even for the, this simple drill. Stay under the bar, hold their hand, just follow with their body. Option number two, grab, if you're tall enough, grab their waist at the beginning of the swing forward. So the gymnast will be on that other side of the bar. You'll follow them through the swing. When they let go, you're holding their body between your hands Letting go, making sure that they're landing flat. Avoid situation when gymnast decides to tap a little bit hard or pulls. It will flip him. Result is landing on his neck. Not acceptable at all. Drill number two. This mat will have to be raised like a pyramid by placing additional blocks underneath of the far side of the mats. Gymnast will let go, tap and fit a little bit higher, and they need to be explained that instead of sliding down onto their head, they need to allow their toes to continue rotation backwards, resulting in a backward roll down the hill. You can start with a gentle incline, just using two blocks of a different height. And then gradually you will have to increase the angle to, I would say, 45. It's doable, I even, I, not anything more is dangerous because the person basically will be landing upside down and before they can flip or backward roll down, they can slide down to their head. So I would say 45 is a good, safe angle for that exercise. For the purpose of demonstration and saving time, I will not build 45 degree ramp. You will have to find the proper positioning for these two blocks. If they're too far, uh, that's not good. There is a limitation you want 
your gymnast to travel forward. It should be happening right here. If you set your ramp far away, that will force them to let go too early, peeling off. And that's a mistake. So I'm being creative here. I'm throwing the last mat slightly offset. Just for the reason that the slope has a more applicable angle. Let me change the camera angle and then show you the drill in action. And then backward roll. Of course, it'll be much easier if the ramp was at a proper angle. You might want to spot the landing, follow them through the move, make sure body is hollow, and then assist them with the backward roll. Let's do fly away from a small swing. Make sure that your students keep your chin down. You can even ask them to see their toes when legs are in front. Keep shoulders angle pretty much open. Definitely there shouldn't be any pull. Just like you. As you can see, at the end, I tuck myself. It helps me to rotate to my feet. When they can perform flyaway consistently with a good gentle tap swing at the bottom, time to increase the back swing by doing kind of back up rise. Doesn't need to be perfect. You can bend your knees a little bit as long as you can get your body higher and higher. Eventually, you should be able to back up rise to at least 45. In the future gymnastics, you will have to back up rise to the handstand. Now you can see that I've got, I've got enough height that I don't need to tuck. I tucked a little bit, but now I'll keep my legs straight. Basically, it'll be a layout. A very good example. I arched a little bit earlier. And the result was as according to clock theory and six hour apart rule. I tapped too early, I tapped too forward, then up. That resulted in a lower flip and longer traveling distance. But at the beginning, for many gymnasts, that's the safe way of doing dismount. Little by little, they'll adjust their timing when to start that arch, and they feel exactly when they need to let go. Next step is to do fly away from a cast. I will not stop after a keep. It's easier for me to keep cast immediately. I will not do it with the perfect form. My shoulder still hurts. And I'm not going to go all the way up to handstand. But take a look. For me, it feels the same as I was doing from back up rise. And it's easier on gymnasts if they do pull over, stop, or keep stop, reset, cast, maybe even with the help, with the spot, then follow through with them, grab under the bar, their hand, and then make sure the other hand is in front, preventing them from pulling. If they do, just push them away.
little bit early, but it's a good experiment. You no know, big times, you do it early, let go early, as long as you don't do it too late. Now it's time to do it from a giant. Make sure the giant speed is with the control. It should feel at the end of the giant that you just finished your canceling and then follow with the same timing. Burning, I know. Guys, I have not done fly away from a giant. So probably, it's scary to say, at least 25 years, maybe 30. Let's do it again, and that's exciting. I love it. I'm very excited. Making these videos actually helped me, even myself, with 40 years of experience in gymnastics. The fear factor affects absolutely everyone. It's just a matter of how we control it. Stick to simple progression. Fly away from small swing. Back up rise. 45 degrees, fly away. Third stage. Cast. If you can make it to handstand, great. If it's 45, still push the bar away. Nice, easy swing, fly away. Only after that, you should ask your students to try fly away from a giant. Spot your students. Hold their wrist with your arm under the bar. Follow through, keeping the other hand on top of their chest stomach. So when they let go, in case if they pull, you'll be able to physically push them away from the bar. I'm Sasha Semin, handstand guru. Please click on one of those videos on top. Subscribe, share, comment. Till next time, good night.